Hello everyone and welcome back to another World of Warcraft Legion video. Today I am on the Enhancement Shaman. We're going to be looking at their artifact weapon quest. Of course the shamans haven't been on the alpha yet, so it's uh, really great to be able to finally see them. Now while I have chosen this very nice striking view, this is actually nowhere near where we want to be, so let's go over and uh, find a certain green person. Now I suppose this is somewhat a bit of a spoiler, I mean, well you probably were up for that when you looked at this video, but the Broken Shore has already happened, so it looks like your boy Thrall is still alive. Let's talk to him and see what's going on. Our defeat at the Broken Shore was decisive. The Burning Legion has a foothold on Azeroth and the best of our armies are retreating in tatters. That's just lovely. The elders of the Earthen Ring have called an emergency council near the heart of our world, the Maelstrom. Your triumphs throughout Azeroth and Draenor are the stuff of legend. We need you now more than ever. So we are going to be taking a little bit of a, um, a holiday retreat over to the Maelstrom. Somehow, I, I don't really know. Is is there a mount here? Is, is, what's going on here, Thrall? I'm going to assume Krasus Landing. Yep, a quick jog through Krasus Landing would. I mean, this, this is um, this is Stormbeak. Yeah, this is uh, this is the dwarf, uh, the dwarf person from from feckin' uh, Deepholm, I think. Yeah, that's who that is. Always nice to see the lore characters pop up again. It's a massacre out there. We're falling back all around the world. Yeah, I really do like how they're making this kind of. The, you know, it, the legions kind of screwed everyone. Unless you find a way to turn this around, Azeroth will fall. Also, two Dalarans. Yeah, it's better than one Dalaran. That's just an alpha thing. Though, I mean, hey, the more the merrier. And now we're at the Maelstrom. That is a really cool little intro. Well done, Blizzard. Looks like they, you know, they did hold this back, but it's of good quality so far. The greatest shaman in the world are gathering below. What's left of them, that is. Okay, so shaman is now a singular and a plural. I suppose it probably always was. Very nice cinematic though, like they're 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 doing a good job with a lot of stuff here, and just as I said, that feeling of the world being destroyed, everyone dying, I think that's very effective, and it's about time they sort of you know start sort of pushing you know hardballs or whatever, throwing hardballs when it comes to the in-game stuff. We need weapons capable of fighting the Legion. Well, Nubundo, I think uh, I think I might be your man. Oh, I suppose you're a dwarf. Greetings, as you can see, there are no factions here, we few are all that remain of the Earth and Ring, and we must struggle together or surely we will perish alone. Survivors continue to make their way here from all corners of Azeroth. Wow, so... Huh, so the Earth, Earth and Ring's been a little bit decimated, that's, uh, that's a little bit worrying for them. Alright, Thrall, pretty sure they'll come for us. Yeah, probably. There are ancient safeguards here, we must use them. Okay, so we're going to be helping... Oh, there's Rhaegar and, um, Urunek. Ha! Huh. Yeah, that's really cool. Alright, let's see what this does. <laughs> a little boost. There we go, so that looks like some sort of, um, elemental ward then. Very nice, let's pop into ghost form. I know I just clicked it, what a noob. Let's see what's going on here, ah! Oh wait, that's Screech! I remember Screech. Um, I've forgotten where Screech is from, but I remember a griffin called, uh, called Screech. Twilight Highlands, perhaps? Yeah, not really 100% sure, but let me know down in the comments. And finally, we need to go and help these guys. So, um, yeah, the Tauren. Not the Tauren, they're just horde people. What kind of shaman can't light a fire? Ah, uh, very good point. The Legion destroyed us in the open fields. Even Thunderbluff isn't safe from the Infernals. Infernals, I suppose that's referring to- Oh, shit! And here come all the Infernals. Unfortunately, I actually had to restart there and create a brand new character because of, um, of some sort of glitchy problems. But anyway, it's, uh, it's time to fight through these Infernals, and while I do that, I'm just going to talk a little bit about this um, this actual spec. But first of all, I should really equip my offhand weapon. Okay, there we go. I'm now dual-wielding my, my fist weapons that I can really get into the fight. So, what do I think about this spec? Honestly, I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised. I'm finding it to be decently enjoyable. However, I didn't really play it that much uh, at all, really, on live. So, what experience enhancement shamans are going to think is probably going to vary from what I think. It's still a very fast spec, I'll say that much. You, um, oh wow, I really shouldn't have stood in the fire there. Time to heal up. You, you know, you basically are using a ability all the time. There is zero downtime in this spec, which is something that I do quite like um, sometimes. Basically, what you want to do is you want to keep Flame Tongue up. Flame Tongue is a buff. Just maintain the buff. You want to use Storm Strike whenever is possible. It's the sort of thing that can proc and give you a free charge every once in a while. Other than that, though, it costs 60 Maelstrom, and you just want to use that on cooldown. And then your filler is Lava Lash. And that really is the core of, um, of how this spec plays. Of course, one of the big things about it, though, 
is that your global cooldown is tied to your haste. Um, that means that as you get loads and loads and loads of haste, well, you're going to be, um, basically, you'll be attacking really fast, yes, but your abilities will also be coming off cooldown really fast, which ends up feeling really f Just an example, if I use Windsong here, you can see that the increase that it gives to my attack speed is really, it's really quite perceptible in terms of how this um, this class feels to play. And if you've got, like, Windsong and, say, Heroism going at the same time, then it is super fast and really quite a, quite a treat. Now, you can add more and more abilities in via the talents. I know right now you've got, what, seven main buttons that you're hitting all the time? Well, you can get roughly back to that um, in Legion, though. Who knows, like, what the interaction's really going to be like and whether that will be as interesting as it currently is on live. I'm going to do a full video on my thoughts, of course, but uh, that won't be until after I've got the artifact weapon and did, uh, you know, done a whole bunch of testing. Oh, and it's worth saying that you've got a new resource called Maelstrom. You start off with zero, it's max 100, and it's generated 10 at a time by Rock Biter, and it's also generated whenever you do damage with one of your weapons. It's basically, you know, a builder, spender kind of spec. That's really how this, um, how this is going to play out for you. And there's a few other passive effects as well. Anyway, the final Infernal is dead. So what do we need to do? We need to use Taurus Spear to bring down this Felbat. So I guess I'll talk to her. Okay, and she gives me the spear. Um, I assume we target this guy, click in the spear, and uh, we'll bring him down. Placeholder animation. All right, uh, is it going to let me attack here? Doesn't seem like it is. Huh, that's a little bit strange. Anyway, we need to activate the Maelstrom Pillar to defeat this guy that Thrall is currently fighting. Well, let's hop up and see what goes on. All right, this is looking pretty cool. We're just going to, like, do a big Kamehameha on him. Looks like it. Oh, shit, wait, we're not going to lose Thrall, are we? Uh, huh. Ah, no, looks like my guy's charging up, going to do something. Your wolf will succumb. Yeah, I, I doubt it. I think, uh, I think Thrall just got uh, saved by the bell, but, oh, wait, was that, did the Doomhammer just fly off there to the side? Huh, I think it did. Oh, yeah, it did. Right, this is kind of interesting. I should also have Ghost Wolf on my bars. Okay, well, let's talk to Thrall. Right, this looks interesting. Thank you, you saved me, you saved us all. I was outmatched, the elements were silent, the Doomhammer felt like a dead weight, as though I was no longer worthy to wield it. It has grown silent since I used it to slay Garrosh. Alright, I cannot use- I cannot allow my own turmoil to jeopardize work, uh, the work we must do to save our world. I will find my own path back into favor. You must carry the Earthen Ring forward without me. You are the leader they need. Oh, shit. Nabundu is right. Conventional tactics will not work against the Legion. The Broken Shore taught us that. We must scour the world for weapons to use against the Legion. The Doomhammer is missing and must be recovered. Okay. So, the Fist of Raden is elemental. Of course, we're enhancement, so we'll be getting the Doomhammer. And I assume we'll be questing with Thrall for this. We must move quickly, speak with Merla, and uh, follow me into the Maelstrom. I wonder if they're going to kill Thrall off here. So he has fallen out of favor with the elements for killing Garrosh. I suppose, you know, you could say that uh, it wasn't exactly a, a fair fight under the rules of Makara. You know, he's, you're not really supposed to bring in, like, you know, Imba weapons like the elements into a, a fair game of fisticuffs. So, yeah, Thrall. I, you know, I like, actually, narratively, that they addressed the concern that a lot of players had with the way that... Uh, that planned out, or panned out with Thrall, where he just kind of killed Garrosh in a way that was a little bit, uh, you know, questionable as to his righteousness, because in a way, Thrall did cause all of those events by kind of fecking off at a certain stage and kind of leaving somebody inexperienced to, uh, to, fill, his, uh, to fill his boots, which is really something that an insecure person like Garrosh, and he was an insecure person, would, uh, would kind of fail at. Anyway, where the hammer falls, you saved us all, thank you. Thrall wants to dive right into the maelstrom and retrieve the Doomhammer, but I worry. He was badly wounded, and that demon may still be alive down there. You should go with him. Hop in Stormbeak, and let's roll. Okay. So I suppose we'll be flying off there as Thrall. Is he going to be hopping on that Wervin? Nope. Yes, he is. All right, the Doomhammer fell somewhere below. Hold on, this part always gives me the tummy wobbles. Yeah, that was um, a very big, serious word there for a very serious game. This is really cool looking. Yeah, I really like the Maelstrom. Though, technically, this should just take us down into Deepholm, right? So I suppose we're going to be in Deepholm. Well, the loading screen would suggest that. Okay, 
Demon down. Follow Geth Zoon. Uh, th follow his trail of blood. Thrall can feel the Doomhammer. If I walk into a trail of blood... Oh, no, I thought something happened. I've got an Earth Shield here, so melee attacks heal me. That's nice. I think I got that from her. Scout the chambers ahead. I will stay nearby. Oh. Wow, Thrall is, like, stupidly hurt. Okay. What have we got going on here? Right, loads of imps. Should not be, uh, shouldn't be too hard for somebody, uh, you know, like me to d destroy. I'm a shaman after all, very good at, uh, the AoE. At least I assume so. I haven't really tested AoE out. I think what I need to do is use, um, Shadow cra not Shadow Crash, Crash Lightning, and that makes, uh, some of my abilities just naturally cleave, as you can see. Which, uh, really is quite the visual treat. Does a buttload of damage as well. You know, certainly elements of this, uh, they do feel pretty fun to play, and certainly it... it it looks the part because there's so many element things flying everywhere, though the actual animations themselves aren't really as good as, say, the, uh, the warrior stuff. But that's only because the warrior stuff is truly kind of outstanding. Anyhow, that's them dead. Follow Geth's- okay, we just need to keep on following his trail of blood. Thrall, that demon is still alive. Yeah, Thrall is... really... gonna die soon if he keeps on going like this. It was like a dead weight in my hands. The elements were silent. It has been this way since I used it to slay Garrosh. He's just repeating some of that quest text there. A little bit odd. And he's just fallen down on his knees again. They're setting this up for Thrall being very, very hurt. Very hurt indeed. Can I get across here? Uh, it seems that I can. Oh, it's these shale spiders. Remember that from Cataclysm? Yeah, love them. So yes, this and um, this whole crashing business really does suck. It, uh... It does make not dying significantly harder, and also Thrall is just walking through all of this stuff. I mean, he's Thrall, he's been covered in plot armor for so long that I doubt he really thinks he's in much danger. That's probably going to be his undoing. Anyhow, I'm just going to try to not die here. I should really use Shamanistic Rage, which is uh, pretty much in the same capacity that it's uh, really always been in, you know, just that uh, keeps you alive for a, bit, a little bit longer. Um, I don't know why I can't use Flame Tongue. That's a bit disconcerting. Though it seems like the game is now somewhat stable. Oh, and there is one of my level 100 talents. It summons uh, sort of souped up dogs rather than the, re uh, the regular ones. Well, stuff seems to be clearing up. This is a little bit of a dull fight, if I'm honest. Not really doing a massive amount of damage. Very, very puzzled as to why Flame Tongue isn't working, though. Okay, well, it's about time he died. And we're still following the trail of this demon thing. Gotta keep moving. Get soon is close. Thrall, I don't think- And it crashed again! Hurrah! Okay, the good news is, I'm back, and hopefully all of our problems are uh, going to be over, though this would appear to be a dead end. Not really what I want to do, so I suppose we're just going to keep on going around this ring, fall yeah, following the blood of this demon. I've got a feeling some really major lore is about to happen here. Also, Stormcaller, um, Myarla, or whatever, uh, she's dead, or has disappeared. Um, I logged in. And, and she wasn't there anymore, so maybe the NPC died in combat or something bizarre like that. Also, I just, I cannot use Flame Tongue. Uh, I don't know why. A little bit strange. Anyway, let's see what Thrall does. Oh, wait, no, we still need to just continue for- Oh, shit, there's the Doomhammer. Sorry, Doombringer. Phew. Ah, what is this sorcery? I believe that's the elements telling you to fuck off because you're a demon. So he's running backwards. Same model as Fell Lords, the Coons, that's just, you know, the souped up Fell Lords. This hammer, I must claim it for my masters. Alright then, we need to go and acquire the Doom Hammer, which I suppose is going to put us right in combat with this guy. There you go, she's back. I'm just going to try to put, um, to put Flame Tongue back on my bars here, and hopefully it's going to work. No, it's, it's actually not on my, oh wait, no, there it is. Yeah, it just won't work for whatever reason. That is so bizarre. Anyhow, let's get into the fight. So, I assume the elements will open for me. Yeah, they will. How nice of them. Brilliant stuff. Let's take this. Okay, this is cool. Brilliant. And you can see there on my other, on my offhand, I've got an elemental version of the Doomhammer. Which I really like. There are some transmog concerns about it, though. But that's it. We'll see what that's, well, you know, we'll see how that goes. Yep, still cannot use some of my main abilities. That is so bloody odd. What is, what is up with you, game? Anyway, what's up with Geth Zoon? So he's only got a few million health. Shouldn't last too long. This is really about the time I should use heroism, which really should have been on my bars. And you can see with heroism, like, just how fast the abilities are flying off with this spec. It really does feel like a lot of fun to use. 
This is totally quite nice. I'm actually getting something which is proccing my Lava Lash. I assume that is an effect on the Doomhammer because I haven't been having that happen to me before. Already he's down only a million health to go. And now we've got both Heroism and Windsong up. So the amount of haste that I've got at the minute is crazy. And because I've got so much haste, I'm doing loads of melee attacks, which means I'm proccing loads of free Storm Strikes. So basically, it just this bananas, it all goes mad once you get a certain amount of haste, which is pretty fun. I'm also capping haste, but uh, more talk to you. Oh wait, shit, she's died. Though just her NPC, so it's probably not that her character's dead. He's using fell spikes. That's actually similar to one of the bosses that happened in the stone core. I kind of appreciate that little detail. Brilliant. Anyway, that's Geth Zoon. Pretty much dead. Is Thrall not helping? Ah, he's kind of back there doing a little bit of casting. Yeah, there we go. Okay, anyway, that's Geth Zoon. Pretty much killed. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, she was sort of stricken down. Ah, and we get a healer up. Okay, then. Okay. The Doomhammer chose you, Shaman. You've already wielded it with power that I never tapped into. There you go. We're already more powerful than Thrall. Um, I must go my own way. I have a lot of thinking to do. Agro will be at the Maelstrom shortly. Listen to our council. She has taught me so much. Go back to the Earthen Ring. Bring them together. Turn their might against the Legion. It is your time. So Thrall is just um, kind of being a bit written out, I suppose. Huh. That is a little bit odd. Come on then, let's go with heroes like you. We might just have a prayer of saving this world. What? I, I don't know if that... I might just be reading that wrong. We might just have a prayer of saving this world. No, nope, that's just a weird, we weird use of words there, Blizzard. All right, so we're back up. Let's talk to her. Okay, and that's just her sort of telling us to go and take up the, uh, the mantle of what we're going to be doing. We're going to get Stormcall, which will teleport us back to the Maelstrom. We need to speak to Nabundo. And he will put us at the head of the Earthen Ring. We stand at the precipice of oblivion, but we do not stand alone. Come forward, Shaman. All right, then. So I am now the Farseer. Take your place, Farseer. The Earthen Ring is forged in you, and with it, we rekindle hope for this world. Lovely. You are the chosen defender of Azeroth. May your wisdom guide the circle to victory, and may the power of your artifact crush those who would bring chaos to this land. Yeah, fair enough sentiment, I suppose. Step this way, the Tauren. Tell of hidden chambers that we can use as a base of operations. I mean, you say hidden chamber. I'm I'm already in it. I'm already in it, guys. You're not very good at looking. No wonder the Earthen Rings have been doing shit all this time. Right, let's click here. So that's that unleashed. And I suppose we're going to have some sort of special sanctum underneath here. Brilliant. We'll complete that quest. And we are being sent over to our artifact uh, weapon altar. All right, so I'm liking the look of this place. The Heart of Azeroth. Is this the literal heart? Or no, that's just a... That is just an orb. Pretty cool looking orb, though. Here's our scouting map, which we can use to uh, scout around the place. You can actually see there, Val Shara is open up for people to go into, which is kind of nifty. We've got... Oh, that's weird. It sort of stayed up there. That's a uh, portal to Dalaran. Always very handy to have. If I go over here, we've got this guy, Orno. Bunch of regular guys, so not really too much going on there. As you can see, the uh, quest map, not or the world map, not exactly uh, full of detail at the minute. If we go down here, we've got the restoration place. All of this is visually looking extremely impressive, really liking the look of what they're going for here. I suppose this was, overall, a very short artifact quest line. Um, yeah, it did what it needed to do in terms of, you know, just saying, look, Thrall is, he's had enough of this stuff, he's, you know, pissed off the elements by killing Garrosh. I don't know how the Azeroth elements are really super aware of what went on in Draenor, but apparently they are. So that's what's going on there. Um, I hear there's actually a mini game in here, and I'm really trying to find that. Oh, okay, that's really cool. So the thing that we use to augment our artifact weapon is like right here in the middle of the Maelstrom. That's super cool. Okay, so the Doomhammer, Doom wins, unleash the inner power of the Doomhammer, causing all attacks to trigger Wind Fury, increasing the damage of Wind Fury by 200% for 6 seconds. Wind Fury is basically just an ability which makes your auto attacks, not an ability, it's a passive effect that makes your auto attacks do, um, like, do a whole bunch of damage. So that basically gives you, like, a super Wind Fury for 6 seconds. And let's actually have a look at its, uh, its regular thing. So whenever you use Flame Tongue, Frost Band, or Rock Biter, you have a chance to supercharge the Doomhammer with an elemental type, causing a devastating effect to your enemy. Basically, 
uh, you got a passive chance of it getting some extra damage. Sorry, Wind Fury. I'm, I'm being silly. Wind Fury is, um, it's, well, it's Wind Fury. You've got a percentage chance of triggering extra attacks from your uh, main hand weapon strike. So that really scales up with haste to be pretty insane. And we've also got like one of our talons, which does a thing like that, but it can proc off itself. So stuff just, you know, can get pretty damn mental. Let's head up here. Maybe this is where the mini game is. What have we got here? Okay. Oh, there's a Pandaren guy. Okay, begin the challenge. Flip the totems until they're all water. So if I do this, then it flips them. Um, damn it, these are puzzles. I've never really been particularly good at puzzles. Um, but I've got to say that one was kind of easy, or is it... Yeah, that was easy. All right, um, do I get anything for that, or... Well, you know what? It was nifty. It was nifty. I'll give him that. Maybe there's a more difficult level of it, perhaps? Ah, yes, there are different uh, different levels of it. So we need to make them all water again. Probably. So what I want to do, I assume, is this. And then... Ah, dear, I've cocked it up. So I assume if I flip the corners like this, and after the corners are flipped... I go and do these ones, then, ah, nope, never mind, we are left with a terrible problem. Damn it. Well, you know what? I don't want to fiddle around with this. Done with this sort of thing. Don't like it. Go away. But uh, actually, no, I do like it. I think that's really cool. More stuff like this, please, Blizzard. That's really creative and fun. You know, I like it when they do things like that, or things like the Peace Bloom tournament that was go- or not tournament, the Peace Bloom, Bloom uh, you know, Plants vs. Zombies thing that they had in, like, the Hinterlands, the Eastern- one of the- that area of the Eastern Kingdoms, anyway. Um, yeah, overall, I actually quite enjoyed that, and I really, really like this place. Like, because it's all, like, down close to the Maelstrom itself, you get this, um, you sort of get the waves crashing up. Feels very elemental. I think this is really, really, like, just an absolute treat. So, yeah, I, you know what, Shamans, you're, you've got it pretty damn good. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed this look at the artifact weapon and, of course, the Class Order Hall itself. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.